Hello guys, I'm just um, recording gameplay on the demo of this game that's coming out tomorrow on October 17th called The Stanley Parable, which, um, which is going to be a remake on a Half-Life 2 mod with the same title. It, it was a great Half-Life 2 mod. Um, I'll read your Facebook messages late in, in a, in a half hour, Sean, so don't worry. Anyways, um, back to the, um, intro. Anyways, where was I? Yeah, the Stanley Parable was a great Half-Life 2 mod and really funny in some of the endings, some alternate endings. Well, there's going to be a remake, and unfortunately, it's going to cost money, but it should be pretty cheap, like less than 10 bucks. Thank God. Well, anyways, let's get started. My name is Ryan James, also known as Ryan Super Genius 1123, and I'm about to start the video. I I'm kind of kind of have a plan to like um, become popular for um, <sighs> gameplay videos. Anyways, here we go. Like I said, uh, now that I say that, here we go, here we go, we're gonna start. Whatever. As you may have noticed, I made a gameplay walkthrough on the Half-Life 2 Episode 2 mod called a Nightmare House 2. I, I suggest you check it out. It's really cool. Welcome to the Stanley Parable Demonstration. Your number is 28. When your number is displayed, please enter the demonstration room. Thank you, and have a pleasant demonstration. Solid 2, Sons of Liberty. I fucking love that game. That game's awesome. Yeah, there's Solid Snake inside of the t dummy tanker, peeking around a corner looking at a terrorist guard. You know what it says. Ooh, that's a Half-Life demo. Half-Life Uplink. Cool. How about this? I don't know what the fuck that game Oh, hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the Stanley Parable live demonstration. It will be my pleasure to guide you through this sneak peek at what to expect in the Stanley Parable. A tease, just enough to leave you hungry for more. How exciting. Can't you just feel that nervous tension? The looming uncertainty? Why don't we drink in the anticipation for a moment, just for 20 minutes or so? Please, for just 20 minutes, don't move or act in any way. Simply remain motionless and let the thrill of demoing the Stanley Parable wash over you. 
Oh, I get it. You're too anxious. You can barely hold still. Well, tell you what. I think we should walk off that nervous energy before getting the demo underway. Here, why don't I take you on a little tour of the facility and show you how we make a demonstration for a game like the Stanley Parable. This is where I and the other proctors have been working meticulously to construct a demo that explains clearly and concisely exactly what the Stanley Parable is, how it plays, and why you should spend real-world money on the main game. Video game demonstrations are tricky, and without the proper technology, you run the risk of the player having no idea what to expect in the full version. Ah, here is one such technology. These buttons are meant to convey the meaning of choice and the impact of the decisions you make. After all, choices carry tremendous meaning and consequence. Didn't you know that? Go ahead. Why don't you try picking one of these buttons to press and we'll see what your choice says about you. How fascinating. Did you know that 94% of all people who select that particular button are sexual predators? You see, our choices really do illuminate the very intangible nature of our minds and souls. Pervert. <laughs> okay, what else can I show you then? This place is the buffalo of game design. Nothing is wasted. This device tells you whether or not you're inside a video game demonstration. Somewhere around here there's also a device that tells you whether or not you're inside a device that tells you whether or not you're inside a video game demonstration. One of the most important parts of administering any demonstration is pumping up your ego and appealing to insecurities about your sense of self-worth. That's why we use this room to develop cheap compliments to shower on the player during the demo. Go ahead and press that button to see some of the superficial flattery we've been cooking up. My heavens, I've never met someone who can consume as much uranium in a single sitting as you can. Just look at you go. Of all the people I know who are playing this exact demo at this exact moment and standing in this exact room, your performance is easily in the top 5,000. Top 4,700 even. I won't go as far as 4,600. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Oh, this is embarrassing. I really can't think of anything else to say. Uh, no, no. You've really exhausted my list of compliments. Goodness. That was fast. Either you or this department has a lot of room for improvement. Okay then, what's next? No, no, we've already seen this room. If it saves you the trouble of pushing another button, I can assure you that you're still a pervert. Now, I think you'll find this exciting. We've actually developed a wall that you can walk through. Go ahead, give it a shot. Oh, hmm, guess it's still in development. Right, okay, moving along. How's the anticipation? Still feeling it? Now, here's what we use to convey story. These booths convert text from a story into raw emotion. Go ahead, step into one of them and feel the sheer power of narrative exposition. It was though and within the shame he carried that ocean breeze did drift. The fierceness of the tides, the inevitable collapse of their kingdoms, washed ashore, bereft of shame, martyrs devoid of a cause, ripping and tearing at the eternal seams. A vessel without a captain, carrying itself like plastic in the wind, hinting at a purpose that was truer in some distant memory, if only it could decipher through time's veneer whose memory it wanted to be. Where 
did these cliffs go? These crags that we stood upon, they shielded us from our own ignorance, spoke coddling words and wrapped our vulnerabilities in a woolen cloth that so many times I tried to set aflame. If I knew these comforts now, would their fibers be any more sensitive to the heat of my touch? Perhaps it was the cold I desired most of all. That empress to whom my flesh was always invisible. A hammock for the bones waiting to be touched and to be known. Oh, you went in both booths? Oh, how vulnerable of you. If at any point during the demo you need to cry, just let me know and we can take a minute. Ah, now this room is perhaps the most important you'll encounter in the demo. This is where we determine whether or not the demo has been effective, whether it's conveyed the wit and soul of the Stanley Parable in such a compelling way that you reach immediately for your credit card to purchase the main game. Oh, I must say I'm so excited to hear your response. I really do think we've crafted something special here, and I look forward to hearing whether or not you agree. No! What are you doing? You can't make that decision yet. You haven't played the demo. We've put so much work into this demonstration. Wouldn't it be a shame if you rushed right into making a purchasing decision without savoring it first? Let this one simmer. You'll have plenty of time to decide later. I like the Stanley <laughs> And there you have it. Everything you need to know about how video game demos are made. However, it's still important that we address safety concerns. Please closely observe the following possible negative side effects of playing the Stanley Parable. If you agree to be held 100% responsible for any and all injury or long-term damage, mental, physical or otherwise, that may occur while playing the demo, please do not press the large red glowing disagree button at this time. Nothing? No objections? You're quite sure about that? Oh, well, all right then. In the event that you do experience one or all of the previously listed symptoms, let's establish a signal for you to convey to me that you wish the demonstration to be terminated. Please step into the dance perimeter. Please perform a dance. <laughs> Your dance has been recorded. In the event that you feel confused or disoriented by anything you see inside the demo, perform that dance and I will terminate the demo immediately. Right, all preparations have been made. It is time at last. Are you prepared for the Stanley Parable? Oh, wait, what? What are we doing Welcome here? Welcome to Did the Stanley Parable demonstration. Your number is 29. When your number is displayed, please enter the demonstration room. Thank you, and have a pleasant demonstration. Okay, uh, I'm lost. Let's just get back to the green room and start the demo again. I must have done something wrong the first time. Okay, here we go, the Stanley Parable Demo Take 2. Finding the demo, learning exactly what the Stanley Parable is, here it comes. Oh wait, what's this? Eight. Eight. Wait, 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 wait. Eight. This, this is all wrong. This isn't the Eight. Stanley Parable. This is eight. a game where you press a button and it says eight. eight. Not only is the eight. Stanley Parable not a game about continuously eight. pressing the number eight, eight. I can guarantee that eight. this button does not appear anywhere eight. in the main game. Eight. Why is it here instead eight. of the demo for the Stanley Parable? Eight. Where did the demo eight. go? There was eight. an actual demo eight. here before. Something eight. has gone wrong. Eight. It's all gone horribly eight. wrong. 
We need eight, to get you out of here before you start eight, forming impressions of the Stanley eight, Parable based on whatever eight, the hell this ape game is. Eight, we need to get out. We need to start eight, over. You mustn't stay eight, here another minute. Eight, out, out, out. Eight, go, go, go. Eight. 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 Now, I think perhaps you've misunderstood eight. me, so let me eight. reiterate as clearly as eight. I can. This eight. is not the Stanley eight. Parable. What eight. you are doing is pushing eight. a button over and eight. over that does nothing but eight. speak the word eight. eight. Has that gotten through? Eight. You may be continuing eight. to press this button eight. under the impression you're eight. playing the Stanley Parable eight. right now. An assumption eight. that is, I should remind eight. you again, eight. entirely eight. erroneous. Eight. 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 It doesn't even make sense. Eight. Why would I have gone to Eight. all of this elaborate Eight. setup just to demonstrate Eight. a game that doesn't do a single Eight. thing except repeat Eight. the word eight? The eight. waiting room, the green Eight. room, the tour of the Eight. facility, all of that for no Eight. reason other than Eight. to contextualize Eight. and build up this particular Eight. game. Why? Eight. What about this game deserves any of that Eight. time and attention? Eight. Are you seeing something in it that I'm Eight. not? Eight. 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 Okay. Here's Eight. the deal. It isn't possible Eight. that you still think Eight. this is the Stanley Parable. Eight. I've restated the fact too many times. Eight. Which means Eight. that you are now consciously Eight. choosing to delay Eight. the actual demo Eight. as long as possible. Is that Eight. it? Are you afraid Eight. of the Stanley Parable? Eight. I suppose Eight. another possibility Eight. is that you can't hear me because you're Eight. playing with the sound off. Eight. In which case, Eight. what are you even getting out of this egg game in the first place? Eight. This scenario is perhaps Eight. even more concerning. Eight. 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 You really are finding eight. this amusing, aren't you? Eight. The experience of pushing a button and eight. it says eight. eight. Is this intrinsically eight. captivating to you on its own eight. as a legitimate experience? Eight. I mean, I'm starting to wrap my head eight. around the idea, but it's not eight. all the way there. Eight. How do you get into this demo? Eight. Are you our target market eight. for the game? Should I eight. be concerned for the Stanley Parable eight. sales numbers right now? Eight. 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 The funny thing is, Eight. you haven't even played Eight. the Stanley Parable yet. Eight. How can you be sure Eight. that this is a better Eight. game? Is Eight. this simply more compelling Eight. than you imagine the Stanley Parable to be? Eight. Have you formed Eight. such a rich vision of the game Eight. already? What exactly Eight. did I do that gave you Eight. such a miserable, awful Eight. impression of what it's like Eight. to play the Stanley Parable? Eight. Was it the dance? Eight. Yes. Eight. It was almost Eight. certainly the dance. Eight. Mm, I regret Eight. that now. Eight. 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 Well, the good part is eight. that if this is your metric eight. for quality in a game, eight. when we do get to the eight. Stanley Parable, you'll be eight. thrilled, shocked, eight. blown eight. away. Eight. Every one of your faculties eight. will be enraptured eight. by the experience of a game eight. that does anything more eight. than say eight over and over. Eight. Yes, I can't eight. wait for your entire world eight. to be shattered and eight. rebuilt. A magical eight. moment we'll eight. all share together. Eight. 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 Oh, I'm not going to pretend Eight. I don't know what's going on here. Eight. You're so utterly Eight. compelled by this game that Eight. you don't intend to stop playing it Eight. until you pass out from physical Eight. exhaustion. Eight. Well, tell you what, I'll Eight. just be right here Eight. and wait for you Eight. to finish. I'm sure the Eight. Stanley Parable demo Eight. will still be out there somewhere Eight. when you're all done. Eight. In the meantime, Eight. I'm going to Eight. stop acknowledging you Eight. and just let you Eight. get it out of your system. Eight. Please. Enjoy eight. the eight game. Eight. Take as much time eight. as you need. Eight. 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 Oh, you're done. Well, in that case, what do you say we get back to business and start this demo over from the top? Welcome to the yes, Stanley yes, Parable yes, Demonstration. Your number is 30. When your number is displayed, please enter the demonstration room. Okay, now let's take a minute to get something straight here. 
When you sit down to play this demo, you are assuming an amount of responsibility for its outcome. Now, I can't say for certain whether you cause us to encounter the eight game rather than the Stanley Parable, but I think it's a pretty safe assumption that you had something to do with it. At this time, please take a minute to think about all of the mistakes you've made in playing this demonstration, as well as your lack of respect for demo taking in general. Wonderful. I could really feel the introspection on my end. Now that we're all on the same page again, I feel ready to attempt the demonstration once more. In this third attempt, we shall truly come to understand the meaning of the Stanley Parable. Let the demonstration begin! Can't be over yet. You didn't see anything. Everything that was supposed to demonstrate why the Stanley Parable is a quality experience worth your time and money. It was here somewhere, I'm sure of it. Oh, no, 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 no. We have to get out of here. We have to find something for you to do, anything. The demo cannot end like this. Now, ah, hurry, hurry, this way. Okay, yes. This is new. This is different. Surely there must be a game somewhere in here. Okay, okay. Oh, how about this cup? Yes, go pick up the cup. All right, now put it, um, um, in the bin. You did it! You won! You know what you get for winning? An achievement. Wow, the Stanley Parable just keeps getting better and better. In fact, let me take a little survey of your experience. Based on what you've played so far, would you purchase the Stanley Parable? You responded, What a clear and straightforward demonstration of the merits of the Stanley Parable. I am convinced of the quality of the full game. Incredible. You really do get it. You understand. Oh, I was so worried. <laughs> I just wanted you to know what I see in the Stanley Parable. What I think makes it, well, special. It's so very difficult to put into words. <sighs> oh, we're all beyond that now, aren't we? <laughs> Come along. Let's get to the end and the final choice. Ending, ending, where are you? Where are you? Is this it? Uh... Yes, the end. Now, this is where we want the demo to be over. And I think it's time for you to log your final decision as to whether or not the Stanley Parable is any good. And it all comes to this. Please consider very carefully before answering. Much is at stake. Now, regardless of what you choose, Is it working? Are, are you sure? You sure you pressed the button? What? No, we, we finished the demo. Did it start again? Hello? Is anyone there? They already finished. They said they liked it. I need someone to stop the demo. Hello? We need to go back. We need to get out of here. Oh no, what's going on? Where is everyone? Okay, over to the left, down this way. Oh, nice and quiet, finally. Well, I suppose we can both agree that I failed, haven't I? My job was to be a teacher, and I so badly wanted to teach you exactly what the Stanley Parable is supposed to be, but, but somehow I couldn't. I, uh, well, at any rate, I don't know if I care for the Stanley Parable anymore. Do you think any of this is actually in the main game? Honestly, I doubt it. What would that even look like? No, I think I've had enough of it. No more doors, 
No more demonstrations. No more endings. That's the other problem with this game. There's too many bloody endings. I'm sick of them. How can one game end so many times? It doesn't make sense. Oh, but back at the beginning of the demonstration, now oh, that was lovely. No concerns about where it was all going. No confusion. Just a blank slate. Yes, that's what I want. A game of beginnings. Hey. <laughs> Do you remember, just a few minutes ago, when we met for the first time, and I showed you the technology used to make the demo, because I thought there actually was a demo. <laughs> oh, we were so naive back then, how little we knew of the world. And then, when we ended up back in the waiting room, even though you'd already done that before, yes, it's all so fresh in my memory. They were such wonderful moments. Oh, and then when we played the game with the cup and you won, and then we kept wandering and we ended up in a stairwell somewhere, and we just kept climbing and climbing, flight after flight after flight. I thought they would never end. And then we were on some kind of catwalk. I didn't have any idea what was down there. Did you? And we just kept going and we found that elevator and it said escape on it. We talked about it for a while about how we couldn't possibly know whether this was really an escape, but that it seemed worth a try, and at the very least it would be an adventure. So we got inside and we rode the elevator up and up and up. We had some sense that the end was coming, but we couldn't possibly know when, and then after so long it finally stopped, and we stepped out into the lush outdoors, the trees, the wildlife, the sun rising on a new and glorious path. Freedom. We were free. There was nothing to think, nothing to know. Simply us being right there in that moment. Wasn't it so beautiful? Wasn't that moment so singularly, piercingly beautiful? We were free. All right, and that's the end of the demo. Thanks for watching the video, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it, and um, be sure to subscribe to me because um, I'll read his message later. Hang on. Um. Anyways, thanks for watching the video. Um, be sure to subscribe because I'm gonna try to like make other mod walkthroughs and maybe even some demos too, like this one. And I'm gonna try to make a walkthrough to Stanley Parable too, like all endings. But I need to play the game at least once first before before playing it again to record it, so the video won't have to be too long. Cause, uh, I gotta be honest, my internet slow as fuck so slow real slow so slow it just well the internet often disconnects like twice a day at least so i don't so if this video is too long and there's there's no way i can upload this video unless i split it into two i really hate splitting videos a lot so i'd rather not but who knows maybe maybe i might not be able to um upload this to youtube before midnight which is the day the game comes out it's going to come out around 10 or 9 or 10 o'clock in, in the morning in pacific time but anyways if uh if you want just subscribe to, to me because i'm eventually i'm going to make more like um gameplays tf2 replays and half-life 2 mods and portal mods and other kinds of mods and stuff like that eventually uh not too soon, but soon enough. But right now, I'm trying to work on a Source Filmmaker video. It's based. On, it's kind of like a little TF2 parody on on that on that um, video with Justin Timberlake and Ti called "My Love," which is a really great song. 
by Justin Timberlake featuring T.I. And I'm going to call it Combust and Timber Flame, my oomph. You know, oomph, kind of like what the pyro says in Team Fortress 2. Get it? <laughs> well, anyways, um, just uh, subscribe if you want. Um, yeah, and um, I'd appreciate it because uh, I kind of feel like a loser sort um, because people keep convincing me. But, and I don't know, I just... I just want to um, become popular and get people to think I'm cool. I just want to prove it and stuff. I mean, I may be a stuttering autistic person, but at least I'm a person with a kind heart and likes to share video game stuff with people. Well, anyways, might as well wrap this up. Thanks for watching, and um, can't wait till this game comes out tomorrow. See you later. Thanks for watching. Bye. Giggity.